YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahela. And I'm her fiance, Adam. And hiding in the back here is our French Bulldog, Sophie. And this is episode four of our home renovation series. Just tuning in on the last episode, which would be through all the drawers work we had to do on the second floor in order to level the floors in the back half of the house. And since then, we've spent a lot of time preparing for our new incoming staircase and back entrance door, including having the masons come in and fix all of the brickwork around the back entrance so that it's completely ready for that install. This place is shaping up real nice. So I've totally planned a very fun morning for myself. I'm currently at Ironworks. Last week, they came and picked up our rods. And unfortunately, one did not pass the pressure test. So I'm actually here. I'm gonna go through their stockyard. They have so many antique rods. So I'm gonna pick something out to get refurbished and I get to pick my customized colors and everything. Um, we also need two rads for the kitchen. So I think we're gonna go for something more modern and new for those. So I'm gonna go check out what they have to offer and place an order. So we're going rad shopping this morning. If you're in the market for antique rads, a visit to the Ironworks stockyard is a must. The owner of Ironworks, Jennifer, is so knowledgeable and was kind enough to walk me through her inventory. She even showed me all the rads she recently refurbished for other clients so that I could get inspired for when it comes to deciding what colors I wanted. In the end, I decided on two beautiful Victorian rads for the main floor dining room and foyer, as well as two brand new small modern cast rad radiators perfect for under the windows in my kitchen. After we finished the joist work on the back half of the second floor and laid down the subfloor there, we then continued to demo the walls and the ceiling. That's when we noticed that the ceiling joists on the front half of the second floor actually run the length of the house, so opposite from the ceiling joists on the back half. Houston, uh, we have a problem. This came as a total shock to us because we did not expect this at all. We thought all the joists would run the exact same direction. So once we made this discovery, we decided to get our structural engineer back in to see how this would impact our plans. That changes everything. <laughs> but in the meantime, we had a ton of work to do, which included widening the staircase opening to the second floor, as well as cosmetically sistering the joists in the second floor floor, and then laying down new subfloor. <laughs> joist work we had to do in the back half of the house, cosmetically leveling the floors and ceiling in the middle of the house, and widening the staircase opening was a piece of cake. Neither Adam nor I had ever done it before, but we felt completely comfortable attempting this kind of work with Adam's dad by our side. First, Adam enlarged the stairway opening by sawing through joists, while his dad and I assembled our new header. Once everything was prepared and ready to go, we brought in the new staircase header, positioned it in place so it was nice and level, before attaching it to the trimmer with a hanger. After we were finished widening the staircase and leveling the floors, Adam and I were able to finish installing the second floor subfloor by first gluing, then screwing tongue and groove plywood to the floor.
Thankfully, prior to Thanksgiving weekend, we were able to have our structural engineer come through to check out the second floor. This is nice. This is a nice house. He did mention that he does think that we will need some LDLs in the second floor ceiling. But until he finalizes those plans, we were able to do some more work on the main floor, including building some bulkheads for the cabinetry in the kitchen, as well as framing out the powder room on the main floor and the walls between the living room and dining room area. It was only until the main floor framing was complete that I could really feel like the space was coming together. I knew we still had a lot more work ahead of us, but I was super proud of all the work we had done so far and could finally start to see the light at the end of the tunnel. It is a beautiful fall Saturday here in Toronto. Adam and I are heading to Vaughn. We're going to Chestnut Flooring's showroom. Originally, we got our herringbone floors from them for the main floor, and now that we're doing the second floor, we need some more flooring. So we're heading out to their showroom. We're gonna check out what they've got, maybe get something that matches the first floor, or maybe not, I don't know yet. So it's gonna be a bit of a treasure hunt, but I'm really excited. Our trip to Chestnut Flooring was yet again a total success. Adam and I spent about an hour looking through samples and styles before narrowing down a few colors and widths we liked. Since we had ordered our herringbone floors from them, it was super easy to find something that matched yet was more economical for the second floor. In the end, we went with a red oak straight plank solid hardwood in a matching width to the herringbone floors we previously purchased. If you are in the market for new flooring, Chestnut is a one-stop shop for all your flooring needs. They sell everything from hardwood to laminate to carpet, vinyl, and more. They can even help you with delivery and installation should you need it. And we're currently still working through the final plans for the structural work on the second floor, but once those are finalized, we can move on to actually framing out those plans, as well as the bedroom and the bathroom. Then once that's done, we can roll the electricians and the plumbers through. They can do their work, and then we can move on to drywall stage. Yes, and in the meantime, we do have plans to repair the front half of our roof which will be happening in the next week or so. So we'll be sharing the progress on that in the next episode, as well as what's going on with our rads. Um, if you are curious to see more behind the scenes stuff, you can always go check out the blog post that's accompanied with this video. I like to share more information about my partners and more photos on there. So you can go check that out or you can follow me on IG. I love to share up to date stories of what's going on with my reno progress. But other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We really thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Bye.